So I've downloaded and installed ZenMap, which is the user interface for the nmap command line tool. And I'll just specify the target, which is going to be the IP address range of my local area network. So I know that my IP address range is 192.168.2.1. And I'll go ahead and scan the entire network, which would go through 254. So notice the format here, I just put a dash in. This is my range from 1 to 254. So it'll scan 182.168.2.1, .2 .2 .2 .2 .2 .2 .2 .3, all the way to 254. And I'll just do a little bit of a quicker scan, the quick scan rather than the intense scan that's the default. And I'll click the scan button and it's off and running. Right now it's sending out packets to every possible IP address on my network. It's trying to connect to a bunch of different services. It's probing every router, every wireless access point, every smartphone that's connected to my Wi-Fi networks, everything on my network. And it's compiling this big list of not only what's on the network, but what everything is listening for as far as incoming connections. And whenever possible, it's going to identify the different devices, not just the devices, but the make and model of the network adapters that are connected to them. Well, you can see here that it's created a list of quite a few devices. This is just my home network now, and I have what, like 20 different devices running on it, 15 maybe? Um, let's take a look at this first one, uh, 182.168.2.1. And let's see what it happens to say about it. Now, you can see there's a, several different tabs here that show different types of output. And this first one is nmap output. The command line tool that's running in the background is called nmap. So this is just simply the raw output that comes from it. If I select the ports and hosts tab here, it'll list every port that this particular device is listening for. So you can see it's accepting connections on 443. Now, I happen to know by convention that the dot one IP address is typically taken by the network's default router. And most routers accept incoming connections to be managed by a web browser on port 443. So this makes sense to me. I can browse over to the host details tab here and it tells me a little bit more about the host. It says that it's up and running and that it's listening on one port and that the other 99 ports that it checked were filtered. Here you can see the MAC address, which is the address that uniquely identifies the router's network adapter. It's got a little safe icon here, which means that ZenMap thinks it's pretty secure. The scans tab simply shows you the specifics of the scan that you last ran. And the topology tab just makes a little map for you showing all the different devices on your network and how secure they are. The green means pretty secure and the yellow means not as secure and the red of course is bad news. So let's take a look at some of these other hosts. This host is only listening on port 80. Whoa, all right. The host at IP address 2.4 is listening for incoming file connections using all these different protocols and it seems that it might not be as secure as some of the others. You can see that it's got a picture of Swiss cheese here, <laughs> which means it could be bad news. It doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be hacked. This is an internal network after all, but this is definitely something that you should take a look at. I'm gonna guess that the host at IP address 2.5 is a printer since it's listening for incoming printers and it has the protocol JetDirect supported. I'm scanning through the next couple of hosts to find something a little more interesting. Whoa, here's a busy fella. <laughs> Why does it have so many different services running? Well, it happens to be that this is the IP address of the local host. And of course, Windows Firewall, which is protecting this computer, doesn't protect it from connections coming from itself. So ZenMap scanned itself and found a bunch of incoming connections, but a host running on another IP address wouldn't have access to all of those services. Now, I happen to know that 2.207 is a server that I have running on the network, and you can see that ZenMap did a good job of scanning every service that's running on it. Um, you can see that this service is identified, see it says SQL there, that's SQL, that's a database protocol, and it does typically use TCP port 1433, and it's right, I have a database server running on that server. You can also see that a web service is running there. NetBIOS here is a file sharing protocol, as with, um, and Microsoft DS there is Microsoft Directory Services. If you click the Services button here, you can see all the different services that are running on your network. 
and which hosts are running them. So I click services and then I click the HTTP and it gives me a quick rundown of every IP address on my network that is running some form of web server. And you can see I have quite a few web servers running on my network, but I bet most of you do too because every device you have running pretty much listens for connections as a web server to allow you to configure it.